Hey out there, YouTube. Well, it's that time again. Let's take a look at a pretty cool book um, about a military unit in Afghanistan. It's called The Chosen Few. <clears throat> All right. This one's about a company of paratroopers from the 173rd Airborne. And basically, it's year-long struggle to survive in the mountains. So stay tuned right after we roll that intro. And I'm going to tell you what I think of this. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for those of you who are brand new to the channel, or for you longtime viewers, somewhere down there or over there, there's going to be a little channel watermark popping up. Just hover over that and nail subscribe, get it out the way now. Alright guys, um, when I read the back, I'm just going to leave it right there. I love Admiral McRaven, we've brought one of his books to the channel. And speaking of that, I'm just going to leave a link right up top. All right, to every single book that we've ever done. You'll find his in there. McRaven, Commanded Seals, Commanded Special Forces. McRaven's a badass. And for him to add his name to this, okay. The author is Greg Zoroya. I hope I'm saying his last name right. And he tells a very incredible tale. All right. It's really, really hard to encapsulate a year with an infantry platoon and not make it seem like a Hollywood movie. And I think he did a great job. Now, actual reading, it's about 353 pages. And I love the very last thing he writes. That said, I take full responsibility for any errors in this book. That has my respect. Yeah, there's pictures. They're all in black and white. Okay. I think it ran me 20, 25 bucks on Amazon. MSRP is 27, but I know I didn't pay that. All right. This takes place in um, late 2007. And yeah. Um, huh. God, how can I put this? It's the never be told, never before told story of one of the most decorated units in the war in Afghanistan. It's 15-month ordeal that culminated in the 2008 Battle of Wanat, the war's deadliest. And they touch on a whole bunch of stuff in here. Like, the book starts off, hey, let's introduce you to a whole bunch of people who are going. Then all of a sudden, bam! Fire bases get attacked. And I just love the dark humor in there when there's a young private running at a grizzled sergeant going, holy shit, we're under attack. And the sergeant's like, really? Really? <laughs> I just... You've got to be around grunts. You've got to be in the military to even get that part where the sergeant's like, no shit, dumbass. Pick up your weapon. Fire back. You know, um, he makes you really bond with these soldiers and what they went through there. And he's very honest about stuff like, you know, hot food, warm water, you know, electricity, what they did for fun, what they did on their downtime, how they felt during a battle, how they felt after a battle. And, you know, when they're talking about how this one thing in here, how they had to get people airlifted out who were wounded. And basically someone wasn't secured in and the body fell. And what happened to them afterwards, you know, the guys on the ground and how it deeply affected them. You know, or the dark humor of, when they put, you know, shot a rocket downrange inside a, you know, confined area and really didn't check the backblast area and how the two guys were beating the crap out of the guy shooting the rocket, you know, for not checking and putting their lives in danger and everything else. It, it, it made me laugh because I can see grunts in the middle of a firefight pulling off their freaking Kevlars, beating the crap out of someone for being a dumbass. I can see it. You know, or the, hey, dude, you know, throw me a dip. He throws over, the guy gets shot. And he's like, hey, guess what? I bled in your tobacco. You know, I bled your dip. And the guy's like, hey, joke's on you. You can keep it. You know, I, I just, it's a great book. It, it's one if you want a true feel and you weren't there and you don't want a Hollywood, you know, or self-glorifying autobiography, go get it. All right. I just, I want to keep this short. 
haven't read a book like this in a while that affected me that much where you just instantly bond with those guys and you feel everything they went through everything from new people coming into the unit officers people who were wounded and got back people who went home things that happened the author did a damn good job now with that being said like i said i, I just i want to keep it short so i want to know your questions comments love hatred everything down below guys all right you guys know the drill by now for you first time viewers of the channel, I want to thank you so much for spending a moment of your day with me here on the channel to hear about this book. It means the world to me. I know there's lots of videos out there on YouTube and I'm flattered you chose one of mine. Now for you longtime viewers of the channel, here is your second chance at redemption, either in that corner or that corner. There's going to be a really large channel logo. All right. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put in. I know I always say that. It always goes in the same one, but still. Go ahead and click on that, guys. That's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you click on subscribe, please destroy that bell icon. Why? It's going to notify you every single time my dumbass uploads a video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to pop up either on that side of the screen or that side of the screen. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick take on The Chosen Few by Greg Zoroya. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an enjoyable rest of your day.